Evening folks. Welcome every K everybody to KT number 104. Actually a radio station I used to listen to. 104.7 I think. Anyway. Um, so tonight, uh, as I said, I was late um, because I was at a, not really a seminar, but a presentation, whatever. A good friend of mine who does a lot of the things that I'm that we talk about here had a presentation speech whatnot for a whole bunch of people to try to motivate them to get off their asses and do something um, the guy's name is Ken Mungin and as you saw in the uh, um, in the title it says hashtag Mungin juice that's kind of kind of his thing you know I have be strong put a kilt on um, that that's his thing and it's what he uses to describe that that thing that he's got that enables him to succeed he's you know they went he went through a pretty in-depth story about how he got from where he is to where where he was to where he is now hey Corey hey Chris hey Corey I saw your video your uh, your promo video awesome job man that's exactly what I was talking about awesome job so what Ken did you know, he started out, he was in the military for six years. High school was meh. And then he worked in a, um, a curtain factory for ten years. Somebody said something about, uh, um, somebody said something about doing real estate. So he kind of did that part-time for like a year or so, and boom. Now, 20 odd, however many years later, he's got his own, uh, He's got his own real estate agency. It's very successful. He's got his own flooring company. Very successful. Why? He got off his ass. Just like, you know, he did the exact same thing that I've been telling everybody to do. He did it years and years and years ago. But back then, there were far less distractions than there are now. So back then, you either get off your ass or you sit there and play Pong or less. Now, there's so many different things that you can do to waste your time where it's really easy to forget that, oh, crap, i got to figure out a way to pay the mortgage. How am I going to eat food today? I don't know, but this Candy Crush is awesome. That, that, that's, that's too many things. You know, you could sit there and watch 12 seasons of whatever over the weekend, or you could go out there and get a job, do something fruitful, and do something that's going to help you succeed today, but also help you succeed tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. You know, that's that's what that's what this whole thing is about. Um, you know, forget about what people are saying about you, especially those of you who are utilizing your kilt as a means to propel your business forward and gain recognition and gain visibility in the marketplace. People are going to say crap about you, but I figure it this way. If there are people saying crap about you, you know there's people that are not, and people that are actually looking and saying, well, hey, what's that guy doing? I want to do that. I want to work with that person. Happened to me tonight at this at, at Ken's thing. Sitting there at the table. My son was with me. We're sitting there waiting for Ken to uh, finish up so I can go talk to him. Random person that was there walked up, wound up having a conversation, got his contact, contact information, and uh, probably going to do some business with the guy. It's pretty awesome. So it's all it's it's just showing up, getting off your ass and doing it. Uh, you can plan, you can strategize, you can say, well, tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. 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 Or, you know, you can say, screw it. I'm going to do it right now. Let's go. What are we doing? You know, what, what whatever the job, whatever the thing is, whatever your thing is, you can put it off for another day or two. A week, a month, you know, whatever's got you got going on, or you can say the hell with it. I'm gonna do it right now. Figure it out and make something happen. If it's the middle of the night, fine. Make yourself a Facebook video. Promote. Do a Facebook page. Promote your business. Promote yourself. You know, middle of the day, get up, make a phone call, call a client, go visit somebody, go talk to somebody, do something. That's that's how it works. You know, you deciding that you are not going to just sit around 
And that's actually true, Chris. Actually, it's a lot more than half. I'd say it's more like 80 or 90 percent. It's just showing up. Uh, yeah, and in the right uniform. Showing up for a mess on the ship. Uh, Non-uniform, you'd be screwed. You'd be the last one in line if there's anything left. So, that's exactly right. Show up, do the job. You know, what is it that you're trying to do? What do you want to do? The, the key that I've found in, in happiness at work is finding a job that you actually want to do and focus on it. And if you have a job that you don't like but you have to do because you've got to pay the bills... Well, you got to pay the bills. You got to have a place to live. You got to have food. If you got family, you got to support them as much as you have to. You got to take care of these things. But you're not at work all day every day. Kids go to bed. I'm sure you're not going to bed right when they do. Get on the computer. Get whatever, you know, start making whatever the thing is you're selling. Writing the book or 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 building the websites or whatever it is. The kids go to bed, you know, skip the TV for a couple of hours, sit down, do it, you know, make the whatever it is happen that is going to make you money so that you can do the things you want to do that you enjoy. So it's, it's, that was, you know, that's been my take on things for a good long time now. And, uh, Ken Mungin, who had the seminar tonight, <clears throat> night Dave. That's been his thing for 20 odd years now. It's the same story. It's just a different a different person telling it. Get off your butt and do the job. Do the work. Put in the time. Put in the effort. You know, there's a lot of people that are out there saying it. You know, it's not a it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You want quick money? Fine. Go play the lottery. You want legacy? You want long term income? Go do what you love. And put go all in. Make it happen. So that's my that that's the whole story for today. Is just get off your butt and make it happen. Ken was up there for a good hour and ten minutes, said the exact same thing in his way. Some people like it, he'd appeal to a lot of people. He would he would not appeal to a lot of other people. So it all depends on the audience and appealing to those people. So somebody throw up a kiltology or else I'm going to start winding up on a tangent, and uh, I don't feel like getting on a tangent because. As promised, I have to get on that treadmill again. Um, I did incorporate a new thing. I'm going to do at least 20, as many up to 30 if I can, if I can get there. I did 20 this morning, push-ups every morning, and I'm going to get on that treadmill every day. So this morning I did 20 push-ups and it hurt, but like I said today, uh, a couple of days ago, I want to get back into the shape I want to be in, not the shape I'm in. So, I'm telling you guys, because without accountability, there's nothing. And if I've got the whole internet holding me accountable, I'm kind of screwed if I, if I screw that one up. Hey, Kevin. Welcome to Shenanigans. So, somebody grab, pick a, throw me a Keltology. If you want to pick a number, it's anywhere between 1 and 507, uh, or just the volume, whichever. Um, so, and as soon after this, i got to get out. And get on that treadmill for a little while. Um, I tell you, last night sucked. My calves hurt like hell. So anyway, Ken Mungin, uh, if you see this video, awesome job tonight. 105. Ooh, I don't even know what that one is. That's an old one. So, but Ken, awesome job on your present on your uh, seminar tonight. Alrighty, so any of those, those of you who, ISCS, I do not know what that is, but hey, thank you guys, all you, all retired, I'm guessing it's folks in the Navy, you know, my dad was in the Navy for a long time, and uh, appreciate your service, thanks for uh, keeping our shores safe and the bad guys out of our country, awesome job guys, thank you very much. So, Kiltology number 105, um, and it says in, in parentheses here, stands aloft 
in front of the kilted masses. End parentheses. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for I am the baddest kilty in the whole blankety blankety blank valley. And that's what it says right there. A whole lot of words. So that's R2D2 speak. Uh, I don't know what word I put there. I'm pretty sure I was channeling my inner Samuel L. Jackson. But uh, so that's that's today's Kiltology. Uh, good pick there, Angela. And that actually fits perfectly with what we've been taught, what we talked about today. You know, it's you stand it up there and say, "Screw it! I'm going to make this happen. I'm not going to be afraid." of the kids on the corner making fun of me because I'm in a kilt. I'm not going to be afraid of what my friends think of this new job that I'm creating for myself or this new business I want to do or the fact that I'm going to go make cupcakes because I'm good at it and I think they taste good. So what? Go do it. Don't be afraid of what people think about it, what they think about you and the stuff that you want to do. You're not hurting anybody else. You're not hurting yourself. Swing for the fences. Go for it. Go make it happen. And remember, be strong. Put a kilt on.